As we all know, DVDs might become a bit of a dying breed. It's one of the things that are getting replaced by today's technology, like Netflix and iTunes. So what kind of purpose do we have for using DVDs? Well, before you start throwing your DVDs into the garbage, I want to encourage you to give them a few more chances because there's so much value they can still get out of your DVDs, like marketing values and sales values. So more value that you can get out of your DVD to bring back more customers into the coming year. Don't believe me? I want you to please stick around, watch the entire video, and I'm gonna share with you some ideas of how you can get more marketing and sales values from your DVDs. Check it out. Here's a question. How can we get more value out of our DVDs? And this is a very, very important question because DVDs are now starting to become more obsolete. We've got a lot of more digital online ways of watching you know, watching content, right? We've got YouTube, it's a free online source where you can put your videos online for free. You've got Facebook, you've got Vimeo, you've got Twitter, Instagram, you name it. However, here's another thing. We're also selling our stuff online through places like iTunes or, or and presenting them through places like Spotify, for instance. So, less and less people are using DVDs. However, I wanna urge you guys to try and give the DVDs one last chance to see if they can really boost your business. And we're still using DVDs, and there's a lot of things you can do in DVDs that you can't really do online, right? And I'm gonna talk about several different pointers of how we can really, really utilize our DVDs. There are some people that still use them, right? I mean, I have a DVD player, or at least I do on my laptop and my computer. So I'm still watching DVDs, right? And a lot of other people are watching DVDs, but particularly if you're doing stuff like a recital, it's going to be really difficult to sell your your recital on iTunes. It's also going to be very difficult where, let's say you may have a small audience, like a small group of people that want to purchase a copy of your concert, your conference, your workshop, whatever it is, your speaking gig. Some of these online sites can be really, really expensive. So for instance, if you go to Vimeo.com, you can, that is a place where you can sell videos, you can sell movies, you can sell a series online. However, you have to do it under the pro account, and the pro account costs you like $400 a year. Vimeo is a way where you can sell your stuff online. However, it's really, really expensive because it costs $400 a year. So if you're constantly doing sales and you're able to cover that cost, that's amazing, but it is a very expensive route. So DVDs is a very inexpensive way we can at least sell our stuff, right? Because, I mean, DVDs, depending on where you get them from, they can cost anywhere between uh, $3 if you're doing kind of bigger masses, like 100 to 1,000 DVDs. Or if you're getting maybe a small handful, then the maximum you're spending is anywhere between $10 to $15, right? So, please choose wisely about where you're getting your DVDs from, but it's at least a, a lot less expensive than if you went to Vimeo or complicated sites like iTunes, right? So... DVDs. And I'm not meaning to scare you by saying, yeah, you're paying $15 a DVD and then selling them for $40, but you can make a lot of that money back and get a lot more value. So let's jump right into it and let's talk about the DVDs. So the first, there's actually two assets I want to talk to you guys about, which is one is the DVD itself and number two is the DVD case. There's so many options to market and advertise through both of those. Right now, let's start with the DVD itself. All right. So, how many of you have gone, to have purchased a movie on a DVD and slot it in? And the reason I say a movie as opposed to a recital, a concert, a, a gig, or anything, is because how do those people market through their own DVDs? To, next time you have a chance to watch something on DVD, not Netflix, not iTunes, not the theater, take a good look at how they utilize their DVD. By the time you put your DVD in the slot and start playing, it starts playing a lot of ads, a lot of trailers. This is point number one. You can add promotional content in your DVD. All right. So if you've got a studio and you're doing a recital, before that recital even starts playing, you can throw in an ad. This is who our this is what our business is. If you're selling products, you can also put in an ad for your own products. Maybe you have a sponsor. And one of those options for your sponsorships is we'll give you a 30 second ad space within the DVD itself, right? And 
as soon as they put the DVD, now this depends on who's making your DVDs, but depending on, this is stuff that we can do at Magic Cut Media and Promotion, but if you have another videographer or you know yourself how to do these things on a DVD, kudos to you, go right ahead and do them, I'm just giving you the options. As soon as that DVD goes in, all these apps are playing and then we'll get to the main menu. So this is a great way to add promotional content, all right? Point number two, when you go to the menu, you've got, you can play the, the main movie or in your case, your speaking gig or saddle, et cetera, et cetera. But what other options do you usually have? You have technical stuff like captions or language, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about special features. These are usually behind the scenes or documentaries or commentaries or interviews. What does this mean for you guys? Well, this can mean documentaries, behind the scenes, interviews, other videos, right? This is extra content that you can put right inside your DVD. Maybe you have an introduction video or some sort of video that gives information about your business. You can throw that inside your DVD as well, right? As soon as we get to the menu, there's options where, you know, get to know our business, right? Or let's say you're doing a concert and you want to check out other music from the musician or the band. You have an option just like check out this little preview from our upcoming album or our previous albums or whatever the case may be. A great asset to the special features is you don't have to add videos. You can also add pictures. Maybe you can add a photo gallery, right? Maybe... You know, you can, if you're doing a speaking gig, maybe you got one or two pictures from you doing that speaking gig, right? Maybe there's a bio. You can throw up a bio, a specific page within your DVD that's like, here's who I am, here's my bio, here's my website, etc., 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 right? So please utilize the DVD menu and the DVD itself because there's so many different options you can do it with, right? So remember, promotional ads and take advantage of that menu. Be creative. Let your imagination explode because there's so many different options that you have within the DVD itself. All right. Now, let's talk about the second asset, which is the case. Now, I do have to apologize. I, Out of all the DVD cases I just grabbed this morning, I grabbed one that just happened to be dirty. Hopefully, yours is not going to be dirty. I literally just grabbed another movie that I had, pulled out the... Uh, the cover and the DVDs themselves, but that's fine because it was a crappy movie anyways. So I want to talk to you about utilizing your DVD cases. Now, these are literally a dozen, uh, you know, a dime a dozen. So it's not inexpensive for sure. But there's loads of different options you have to help market your business through a DVD case. And I urge you guys to really, really take advantage of this. All right. So the first option as soon as you see, see the DVD, what, as soon as you see the case, I beg your pardon, what's the first thing you see? Well, obviously, you see the front, okay? And this is usually going to be a poster or just the main title of whatever it is you're, you're showing, your name, maybe it'll have the location, the venue, the, team, the, the time, the date. So now, every, so that's going to be the main information. Then we open the case. And the inside of the case is typically going to look like that. So you have the DVD here. But then what about this space? Not a lot of people use this space, believe it or not. And listen, guys, that's real estate. That is excellent real estate. What are some things you could throw in there? Well, how about some posters? How about some flyers? How about coupons, right? Utilize this into a marketing strategy. So let's say you're doing recitals. Keep in mind, guys, when you're doing a recital, this is usually going to be bought by your a family with a child that goes to your studio, right? So they're going to take this DVD and go home. They're going to have at least one to five other friends coming over to watch the recital as well. So as soon as they open up the DVD case, they're going to look inside that. Your student and five of their friends. What if you had a coupon in there that said, bring a friend to class, right? Bring a, class, bring a friend to the very first week of dance class free, right? That's just an option. Or what if, you know, here's a coupon to check out our summer camp, like grab a snack at our, at our summer camp. Or maybe it has information regarding a brand new program you're planning on launching. If you're doing a speaking gig, 
You can throw in, again, you can throw in flyers, coupons, posters, pictures, special information, maybe templates, worksheets, whatever it may be. You can even throw in a little poster with QR codes to stuff online. Whatever the case may be for yourself. But please take advantage of that. You can t now that's not something you can do with a graphic designer or not with a videographer. You have to do that with a graphic designer, right? We don't do this at Match Cut Media. However, you can outsource to a graphic designer. Let them know that you want to use the inside of the case. They'll make sure you get the proper measurements and just really, really plan out how you want to utilize the space because that can become extra good value. All right. Now, so that's exposing the very inside of the case, right? Now, what about the very back of the case? This is also something that people never, ever take advantage of. You want to know how much space is on the back? That. All of this space, people don't use. Now, what could this back space be used for? Normally, your videographer might take up like a little bit of space on the bottom to put on their information, but this is space for your sponsorships. Right? It's also the same as when you go inside, you can also have a slot for your sponsors, like a special flyer and whatnot from your sponsors. You could have sponsors, you could have information, you could have your website, you could have pictures, you could have all sorts of great information back there. Maybe it's, look, here's our speaking gig, if you like our speaking gig, check out our other speaking gigs, check out our master class or our school or our business or our website or anything like that, check out our upcoming workshops, etc, etc, put them right on the back of here. Again, talk to a graphic designer and utilize the space. So you've got your DVD, you've got the front of the case, inside the case, and the back side of the case. All stuff that you can use to market your business and get more value out of it. And remember, not just get more marketing value, but that also it becomes more value to your sponsors. That that's and that's not costing you much of anything. If you're already going to make, you know, spend the money on a DVD menu, if you're already going to spend money on putting stuff inside your DVD itself, right? Adding on a logo is not extra. All right, adding on a website is not extra. You can even say to your sponsors, if you want to take advantage, put your flyers inside the DVD case. You got to supply us with a flyer, whatever the case may be for yourself. But there's so many different options to use in your DVD and your DVD case. So before you're thinking of going online and just saying absolutely no to DVDs, take a look at this video. Take a look at the things that we discussed and see if maybe, just maybe, if there's a little bit more you can use with your DVDs to help you push your business one last time. And that's it, I hope you guys enjoyed this excerpt from a special Facebook group that I did called Magic Boost 2018. This is from one of the live videos that I did inside the group. If you wanna join this group and find out more information, watch way more videos and tips, including tips from other entrepreneurs, check it out in the description below. There is a direct link that'll take you straight to the Facebook group, request to join, and you'll be entered into the world of amazement. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video as I gave you some tips and strategies and advice of how videos can really help boost your business. But do you know how to make a great video for your business? And do you need just a little bit more help on how to make great videos that can really draw in more customers? Well, check this out. I'm doing a special workshop on Sunday, March 4th, called How to Get More Customers Using Videos. This is a hands-on workshop that you have access to where you're going to make a special video using your smart device. This video is gonna be made to promote your business and get more customers. No editing necessary, no, prior, no previous experiences necessary. Just come check it out and you'll get to know how to make a great video for your business with no budget, no experience, no nothing, just your smart device. So if you're interested in signing up for that workshop, please go down into the description. You'll find a link to Eventbrite and all the information and details on how to get to this workshop. I hope you guys will join me. Please check it out and best of luck with your business.